Good morning everyone. This is Willy. <laughs> On the last video everybody was saying how much I need a dog and so I got one. No, I'm just joking. He's um, I'm just fostering him as with Hugo, the other dog. And uh, he actually probably already found a home so he's gonna be with me just another week and uh, by the way for everybody that was asking about Hugo he is doing fantastic I will insert some videos here of him having fun <laughs> We are home and we are knackered, aren't you knackered boy? I wasn't expecting to go for such a long walk but it was nice and um, I want to thank you all for the really lovely comments on the last video and for your uh, wishes for the new house, it was so nice and uh, I wanted to answer a question that kept popping up and a few people contacted me um, you know by emails etc uh, about this so I thought I would address it here which is how did you find this place and do you have any tips on finding similar places? And I have to be honest, hey, don't bite the pillow. Uh, I actually walked past it and I saw that it was for sale and that is pretty much it. It went all there quickly and I wasn't looking for a house. I didn't, yeah, I wasn't checking on any sites or anything. So that's my story. It was kind of poof, out of nowhere. But if I had to give you a tip, it would be to just find a place that you like and stay there for a while and get to know the people that live there because those houses I find they're not really listed in uh, sites so like you know people don't go through agencies to sell them it's more like you know somebody that knows somebody that has a house that maybe is for sale or that they're not really using and maybe they would be willing to selling I don't know so yeah I would just stay somewhere and get to know people and walk around and see uh, yeah, and see if there's anywhere that looks like it's not uh, maintained, maybe it's a bit run down and maybe try and find who the owner is. This afternoon we're actually going to go to the lake to collect some wood for the fence, because I need to do a fence around the house. Uh, and we're going to go with the boat, so that's quite fun. But beforehand, I'm going to do my Portuguese lesson and um, if you've been here for a while, you know that I've been wanting to go to Portugal forever and then every time that I plan to go there something happens and I don't end up going and um, I'm hoping that if we are ever allowed to travel again then I'll be able to visit and so I thought in the meantime I can learn some basics of Portuguese so I've been using the Rosetta Stone app for that uh, who is also the sponsor of the videos. I find that learning a little bit of the local language like really improves and enhances the experience of your travels just because you feel a bit more at ease like you know interacting with people and people do really appreciate when you're making an effort to learn their own language and so yeah i've been learning the basics of uh, portuguese i've actually started learning this summer but with different apps and i must say this one so far is my favorite one um it's just very intuitive and it actually doesn't 
it's not based on translations. It actually makes you connect like images and words and sounds to language. And I find this approach really like really fun. Um, and also it has a uh, software recognition no, a speech recognition software called Through Accent, which gives you feedback on your uh, pronunciation. Um, I found that my pronunciation actually improved massively from the start. Quem está com um livro? A quantas bicicletas? I'm actually learning the Brazilian version of Portuguese, which is a little bit different than Portuguese from Portugal. So I think it's going to be quite fun uh, to see the difference when I uh, get there and see how they pronounce things and, and, and things like that. Since we are all home, I can think of a better time to learn a new language, whether it's part of your uh, New Year's resolutions or whether you're wanting to buy a house in an Italian village and so you need to buy, you know, to learn Italian. Uh, I think that the Rosetta app is such a great alternative to conventional methods such as, you know, in-person lessons, which can be quite expensive. And if you are like me and you like nibbling around and trying different languages and learning a bit bits and bobs um, they also offer a unlimited uh, lifetime subscription which means you get access to all of their courses for life uh, so I'm thinking that after I learn a little bit of Portuguese I might start the Turkish course because I really like how uh, it sounds and maybe also Hindi and they have Korean too so yeah there's so many languages to learn you can click on the link on the description bar to get a special offer on all Rosetta Stone subscriptions and if you want to get the unlimited lifetime subscription you can get that for 179 pounds and uh, that gives you access to all of their courses for life what do you want to learn what do you want to learn so as I was mentioning, I want to fence the whole way around the property because I'm planning to, you know, keep dogs and also there's a huge cliff down here. Let me show you. Right, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but after that thing, it goes basically like down for like 200 meters. It's super scary. I don't want to go down there. I'm going to fence everything in the next few weeks because I'm afraid that dogs could fall over, but even people. And so I wanna fence it all. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the lake and collect some wood. I don't think I'm gonna get enough to do the whole thing, but it's a start.
So we are back and we are knackered. I think I'm gonna go to bed soon. Um, we did get some wood, which was good. Although I'm thinking that to do the whole fence, it's gonna take forever. If I take the wood from the lake, I need to go like, I don't know, 15, 20 times to get enough wood. So we'll see about that. Um, again, if you're wanting to give the Rosetta Stone app a try, I will leave their links on the description bar so you can see what they are all about. And uh, let me know in the comments which language you are wanting to learn as well, because I'm quite curious. And um, I shall see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.